Hi all, this is Sia Naz and welcome to episode 93 of the Diary of Sia Naz. So today has been a really cold day and I just look for some really warm backgrounds that I had and this background that I've got it's um it looks like a french apartment and i've got my hair in this cute little bun and i feel like a little ballerina in her french apartment so got some nice warm makeup on and um yeah you're just kind of um, fit together because it's a really cold day so just trying to get some warmth in so let's start with the week the week started on monday the 19th of october and as i'm looking down i'm looking at my uh, fluffy unicorn rainbow diary and so on monday as always i edited uploaded and promoted my podcast i also made the beat for last week's beat of the video which was straight out um, and I'm also I also worked on the confidentiality agreement for my invention so what I wanted to do was get some opinions of some beauty influencers and to send them out an agreement but there's some bits on the agreement that I'm not sure of and I'm also sort of um, hesitating because I'm really scared that they might steal my idea so I've just been umming and ahhing all week but I've got to get, I, I've promised myself to try and get at least one agreement out and um, well um, contact uh, an influencer and then just go from there. So that's the goal for the coming week. Um, I'm also having problems with my webcam and I can see at least the, um, it, the, it used to have a lot of flickering so that's fixed but the problem now that I can see is my voice is not matching my lips and I thought that I fixed that but somewhere there's a problem with the latency and yeah what I've been doing the last few weeks is putting my voice back like um, maybe like five or ten seconds so that it can match up with the video I don't know why it's doing this but there you go it's the new upgrade and there's something not right in the latency so there you go so that was Monday and then on Tuesday I edited the video podcast um, got lots of things that I bought online over the last few months and everything just sort of came on Tuesday uh, I also bought um, a Thor Ushi, the rare ones, and because my idea is that now I've got all the Marvel ones, including the furry um, Thor Ushi, and I'm thinking that if I can sell them as a set, it will help to fund my invention, so um, that's the idea behind that, so I'm just waiting for it to come. This guy doesn't even seem to even be in a hurry, like, I got it on Tuesday, and then he contacted me on, like, Friday and said, oh, I'll send it in the next few days, like, hello, I paid a lot of money for it, but I'm hoping to make a whole lot more on it, and, um, yeah, so that it can fund my invention, so that'll be cool. Um, also heaps of housework on Tuesday, like, every day there's so much going on. On Wednesday, the podcast video went up and I promoted it and again, just lots going on on, on Wednesday. On um, Thursday, so on Thursday, we um, started having workmen come to the house, like on the outside to fix it. And they come at 8 in the morning and 8 o'clock is just a time that does not exist for me, but it has started to now and I've been going to bed early. And um, I kind of like going to bed early. I don't feel as tired even though I get the full eight hours sleep. I just, I don't feel as tired. So I'm going to see if I can try and keep that up. Um, I also had to take day for a hearing test on Thursday. Uh, on Thursday I also got, I've been waiting for this order. So I ordered it on um, August the 16th and it came on Thursday so almost two months I waited for this and it's from um, Ofra and one of them is this one it's the Nikki Tutorials um, collab she did and this is a highlighter called Space Baby and the reason I like this highlighter is because it's got um, shades of like let me 
get it up this way so I can show you it's it's sort of like holograph colors so there's blue and purples oh can you see that blues and purples um, it's really cool I haven't worn it today because can you sort of see that um, I haven't worn it today because I've got other because um, last week I got the Kim Kardashian West um, Ladera palette which had the blush the contour and the highlight in there so that's what I've got on my cheeks today but next week I'll wear this one because the color is just gorgeous like a holographic color and the other thing that I got and I paid five dollars for this and I thought it was just going to be the same size as the palette which is like um, palm size but this one is huge look how big the box is it's really big maybe like 20 centimeters squared so 20 centimeters across and down like it's really it's bigger than my head and i thought this was an eyeshadow palette but actually it's a face palette so it's blush and highlight so i wasn't expecting it so it's called island time island time face palette so um this was while it was summer in um, this came from Florida so this is the palette here island time very 80s kind of style I'm guessing this is their their style it's very dated look which I don't like but I'm not buying anymore so so I see and um, can I show you this without showing you too much no so this let's put it this way so this palette has got five colors on it and the outside are all blush colors and in the center is a highlight color and so there's like a orangey blush and then there's two like rose and one's a magenta and then another one is sort of like um, a light skin color and then the center is just this lovely golden golden color <laughs> so um yeah the, the colors are nice i mean it's for it's like colors you'd find in miami um that's what it's for and on the back it tells you the colors and so there's mai tai punch cosmo and bellini they're the blush colors and in the center is barley so summer colors so it's a summer palette but yeah, I'm glad I got it. I got it for five dollars originally. I think it was like thirty, so that's thirty US, which is what fifty Australian. So and I got it for five, so I think that's a pretty good deal. I finished off and mixed and mastered a beat that I did called Um Um Ah, and it's a funky hip hop beat with low bass. And it's um, I might even change maybe what it's about because it's quite a sexy sort of beat and I was thinking of doing the beat more as if you're saying I'm a as in I'm, I'm telling on you it's an Australian thing I don't know if they do that anywhere else but um, that's what I was thinking um, and for some reason the audio <gasps> Anyway, let's keep going. I, if I managed to salvage last week's shamozzle of a video with it dragging and stopping and starting and I managed to match up my vocals with the m mouth movements. I don't know. Did I accidentally press it? I don't know. So that was Thursday. And then on Friday, I watched some tutorials on beat making by Aldre and Decap. And then... Um, I think Decap uses Ableton, which is a program that I use. That's the program that I'm recording my vocals on, um, the audio podcast on. So, yeah, it's in like three parts. <laughs> um, and Eldre just makes beat making so much easy. Uh, just the way that he does things and his suggestions are so easy. And Decap's pretty cool. Like he breaks down beats that he makes. And I started making a beat called Premium that's inspired by one of Decap's videos. Like he does the um, Drums That Knock series and they're just awesome. These beautiful deep bass um, kicks and um, 808s in his pack. So that's really, really cool. And I'm, um, 
I, I had a look at the layout of his bead. This is one thing that I want to work on is bead layout, like bead structure, so that you're not hearing the same sounds in a bead from start to finish. It's not just like a four bar loop that you put some texture in it and you change it and just different ways that you can make it sound different. So um, that that's something that I'm looking into doing and that's something like I, I try and listen to as many beats as I can so that I can pick that up like listen to the different structures that people do and then um, sort of follow some of those structures and that way you get a lot of different sounding beats so that's really really cool so that was on Friday and then on Saturday uh saturday i just chilled i watched aquaman i recorded this um the movie from te uh, from telly but i missed that ending but i've pretty much it was like the the best part is at the end like five i think i missed like five to ten minutes of the ending but i pretty much saw most of it and it's pretty much when it comes to the rescue at the end in his gold suit and um and then it stopped so that was really really annoying um, on Saturday, I also watched, uh, I also um, worked on my family tree and I'm trying to get all the details of this website. I'm actually using MyHeritage, but it costs $200 a year and I don't want to pay that money. <laughs> so I'm trying to take everything that I've put on MyHeritage and move it into um, Excel. But what I've done is photo, um, screen captured um, pictures because in my heritage you can lay out your family tree and it lets you add people and um, it, it sorts it out into a tree so what I've done is f copied all the pictures of that and then I want to try and put it into um, Excel because that's the only thing that I can think of where I can put it because I've had a look online for other programs that help you make um, a tree, a family tree, but you have to pay or it's really limited and it's difficult to do. So I'm thinking if I do it in Excel, um, that might be easier and is free. So um, that's what I'm working on. And then Sunday, which is today, so it's a pretty quick week, not, not much. It's like a lot of um, housework, a lot of... Um, even on Friday, like we had the traders in on Thursday and on Friday. On Friday they were here half day because um, there was supposed to be heavy rain. And they said, look, would you? they came in the morning, they did what they could. And they said, look, we'll be back on Monday. But the heavy rain didn't come till like 7 o'clock. So they could have finished it off, but it doesn't matter. They'll be here on Monday. So next week we'll be having the traders in fixing the outside of the house and um yeah it was just a lot of um a lot of housework this week dealing with the tradies and um uh the tradies working on the confidentiality agreement because i worked on it a little bit every day just trying to figure out um which bits i should keep just to cater it so that it it's for influencers and they don't look at it and thinking what do i put here and what don't i put so um, the week was mainly um, dealing with the traders, a confidentiality agreement and a bit of um, beat making and watching tutorials. So the goal for next year is more tutorial, watching more tutorials and learning more from that and more beat making and more songwriting as well. That's the, the goal for next next year and to refresh the podcast uh, i don't know if i want to continue with this one or start again and start a different one and just talk music because i think it's a bit of a cop out now that i've added makeup and all this it's just distracted me i mean this year's just been a, t a horrible year for everyone it's just horrible so um yeah i've just been distracted down the wrong path but anyway we'll see we'll see what happens um and then on sunday So on Sunday, which is today, um, I got my car broken into, which is really bad. So I've got we've got two cars. One car um, is my dad's, and it used to be mine, but he's taken it because it's a smaller car, and I've taken his car, which is a bigger car. And we usually leave it on the street. And this car, excuse me. So we usually leave the car on the street, and 
um, I went for a walk and when I came back I noticed that the driver's side door was open it was it was a jar and I'm like nobody's used that car for since the start of the year really and I opened the door and inside all my CDs and everything has been thrown on the ground and they've stolen coins like we didn't have a lot of money and they're just some coins and something was saying to me take your CDs out of the car and I didn't do that and I don't think anything's been stolen I didn't want to touch too much because I called the police to um, come and um, well I called the police so that they knew because this has happened before with our other car but because I had to take mum to a hospital appointment I didn't have time to like stop and say oh have to call the police and then I left it a few days <laughs> but this time as soon as I saw it happen well that the door was ajar and that somebody had been in there I called the police straight away and they said try try not to touch anything and if we want to investigate we'll come we'll let you know and they'll come in the next few days so I couldn't rummage through the CDs um, there's one CD my Prince CD um, so I hope they haven't taken that um, that should be in there should be in there somewhere hopefully underneath they didn't take my Robin Thick CDs which are my favorite so that was that was still there but I used to have an old nav man in there and um, I couldn't see that because I really rummaged really well there's not it's a very small car there's not much you can um, look through so yeah they really rummaged through like really got into the bottom of the glove box and just threw everything out from the center console and yeah just took all the coins and consider that yesterday was grand final i'm just thinking it was because i could hear a drunk girl out the front and i'm just thinking neighbors maybe neighbors had people over which they shouldn't have but i could hear drunk people in the early hours and i'm thinking it was just some stupid kids that were drunk and just decided to I don't know, um, have a look and see if they could get any money or something from the car. I can't think of what else it could be because um, I do remember that girl and I think a guy at the front of the house like two, maybe two, three o'clock in the morning. And yeah, I didn't think anything of it. And then, yeah, today, yeah, I forgot to even mention that to the cops. But I now I have to tell them that there were people having a party and then I'm going to get people into trouble and and yeah i don't know i don't know anyway so that was today um not ending in a good way <laughs> but yeah so pretty short week short podcast you know not a lot happening um just short bursts of a bit of everything so the bead of the week let me check i think it's cookies it is cookies and cookies is a really funky dance bee um yeah it's a funky dance beat um check it out it's a bit of a longer one so i've tried to like make it a bit longer um uh just letting some instruments play for a while but they sound they, it sounds really good and i love putting in risers so there's a riser in there as well and um yeah so it builds up and then there's a riser in the middle and it all explodes and then it just breaks down again to the start so i thought it was pretty cool just had some fun with it um hope you guys like it so look after yourself speak to your gp if you need help there's lifeline and beyond blue the details are on the screen or in the detail section below um, check out my podcast there's many pl platforms you can listen to it um, share it with your friends or family or someone you think would like to hear it or see it leave comments subscribe love chatting with people i love it when people contact me on social media um yeah so look after yourselves beat of the week is cookies i hope you enjoy it let me know and i will speak to you guys next week bye
We'll be right back. 